بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, alayhi wa sallam, he was sitting with a sahaba and all of a sudden he says, now a man from Jannah is about to enter. All of the sahaba, every single one of them, immediately rotated their heads, looked at the door, who was that man? Abdullah bin Amr and look at this detail. He says, the man that walked in, his beard was wet. Look, at, look how much they focus because they truly want Jannah. And he grabbed his slippers with his left hand. Allah. And he placed his slippers on the shelf. Second day, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa second day, out of nowhere, all of a sudden, now a man from Jannah is about to enter. Everybody looked again. They're not bored. They want to know who is that man? What difference does he do? What is it that he does that gave him that rank? They all looked. Third day. Out of a sudden, Now a man for who is promised paradise is about to enter. And that man doesn't know the Prophet is saying that about him. And it was the same man, first, second and third day. Abdullah bin Amr al asked may Allah be pleased by him. He went, could not handle this anymore. He went to him. He said, I have a problem with my father. We had a fight. And I told my father that I will not speak to you for three nights. So would you mind if you host me for three nights? The man said, sure, let's go. All what Abdullah wants is to go check this guy's life out. What is it that he does that Allah made the Prophet know that he has this rank and he's still alive? He's still alive. He went to the house and he was monitoring every single step and I will not exaggerate. If I say every single blink, I will prove it to you. Abdullah says when he was sleeping, that man, when he would wake up in the middle of the night, what does that mean? What does that mean? Abdullah, did, did Abdullah sleep? He was waiting. He said, when he would wake up in the middle of the night, he would say, Allahu Akbar and dhikr Allah. But he would not step up and pray Qiyamul Layl, pray the night prayers. Until he would go back to sleep, until he prayed Fajr. Abdullah says, I spent three nights with him, and kittu an ahtaqiranna amalah, which means I was about to not just be okay with what he does, rather, I was about to be little what he does. It was so little compared to what we do. So then Abdullah went to the man and he said, to be honest with you, I have no dispute between me and my father. Rather, it was, it was the Prophet وسلم, who said three consecutive days that a man from Jannah will walk, and you were the same person every single day. That's why I came to monitor and I could not find anything special about you. Sorry to say that. So do you know what made you have this rank? Do, do you know? The man said, as you have seen, that's all what I do. Abdullah bin Amr, a little painful moment. I couldn't find anything special. He's walking outside the door. And then Abdullah, the other man calls, Ya Abdullah, Ya Abdullah, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I know. Abdullah rushed. Ah, what is it? He said, throughout his day, he makes sure, before the day is an ending, that I empty my heart from any hate, from any grudge, from any envy, from any jealousy, any ill feelings in my heart is emptied. I empty it. I forgive everyone, everyone. Then I continue with my day. Abdullah bin Amr says, هذه هي, هذه هي. This is it, this is it. This what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that's why Allah give you that rank, because of this. And then he says, لا نطيق, this is what we cannot handle, very tough, but we're gonna work on it as much as possible. For forgiving others, he was promised paradise while still being alive.